Phantom 3, Basic Maintenance and Repair, Take 1. Okay, according to Healthy Drones, it's time for our first basic drone maintenance. No matter what UAV you fly or what apps you use, I recommend using Healthy Drones with it. We'll go over Healthy Drones in depth in another episode. Today we'll just be using the maintenance area. We're doing our 20 flight, 200 minute UAV maintenance. First we'll look for cracks in the outer shell, specifically around the motors, which are more prone to cracks. We'll visually inspect that all screws are in place and are tight. And we'll inspect the propellers to look for broken pieces, bent blades, or other damage or simply install a new set. Fast forward, I recommend using the little wet wipes to wipe down the entire surface of your drone. This way your bird looks clean and professional and you physically touch and look at every area. Be sure not to jerk the gimbal around a lot, but make sure it's free moving and the camera lens is clean and chip free. Wipe down each battery and check that they clip in tightly. We'll be going over full battery maintenance in another episode. The remote's generally the dirtiest part, so be sure it's wiped down all over and pay special attention down in the control stick wells. They gather dirt here and it makes them stick or could even cause a fly off or crash. Also, wipe down your tablet or phone screen so it'll be clean to see the details when you need it. A quick word about your Phantom Control tablet. Android seems to work better than Apple. Be sure to load and open only one app at a time. I prefer a tablet or phone that's connected to a cell network so you can always load your maps and data. I also dedicate this device to flying and don't use it for Facebook or other uses. Absolutely perfect. The most important part is motor mount inspection. I like to use a magnifier and good lighting to be sure I see everything. The sooner you find and repair a crack, the better the repair will be. Perfect. Yep, you can hear it in my voice. Crack. crack. Luckily, this type of crack is easy to repair. It goes from one screw hole to the other, thus terminating itself on both ends. Crack. If it had been running out into the surrounding area, we would have drilled some small holes on each end of the crack to stop it from running. We'll come back to this repair in a moment. First, we need to finish the inspection. Now we inspect and tighten all screws. DJI made each set of screws a different size and head type, so you'll need to have a good set of drivers available. In this case, none were loose, so let's fast forward. Okay, let's repair the crack. You'll need a can of Weldon number 4 acrylic thin bonding solvent and a needle type applicator. You can find them online and in the links below. It's a good idea to get used to the applicator at first as this stuff is super thin. Apply a little bit right over the crack and use a paper towel to wipe off the excess. Repeat this process two or three times. The solvent dries super quick so be sure to wipe it off yourself and other surfaces right away. The repair should now look shiny and smooth. Why did it crack? We only had one hard landing with this drone. It bounced and tipped over into the rocks. Although the cracked motor mount is on the right front arm and that didn't hit the ground. But notice on flip over how the gimbal holds the camera perfectly level and steady. It reacts super fast. Watch the split view here to see how well it kept the framing on impact, flip over, and even setting it back up. What an awesome unit. By the way, I was emergency landing due to critical battery levels and high winds. Just check out how stable this video is. Good job, DJI. And thanks for watching Rocky Mountain Flyers.